Hey everyone, today is Wednesday. It is Wednesday, ain't it? Yeah, it's Wednesday, tomorrow night's church. But I'm still a little bit stuffy, but I'm doing a lot better. I'm still on my Mucinex. And uh, my throat is not sore now. I feel like every time I get on here, I give you an uh, update, which I guess that's what it's all about. Because the ones that watch me like to know what I'm doing from day to day. Because I get on and I usually give the weather report. or I, I mean, you know, I usually just get on here and share my life with you and what's going on at the time. But, uh, and a lot of ends like that, and some may not, but you know, I'm just going to get on here and just tell my life. That's what I do when I started my channel. I knew that's what it would be about, is just getting on and sharing my day with you. And it, most of the time, it's not very different or exciting, but it is my life, and I like to share it with you, and I like for you guys to uh, interact with me. And I've had so many sweet comments lately, and so much, I have them every day. Every day, I get more and more comments, and more and more encouragement, and support, and love, and I just thank you for that. But what I was saying is I am doing better. My throat is not sore now. My head's not hurting. I'm still stuffy uh, and stuff, and I still have a lot of sinus, sinus, uh, sinus uh, stuffiness and drainage and stuff going on. But I'm so glad my throat's not. I cannot stand a sore throat. And the first two days, my throat was so sore that I could not swallow. I thought I had strep throat, and I may have had a touch of it. Of course, I didn't, I didn't go to the doctor. But I have my tissue in my hand, you know, and uh, I may have to dab at my nose today, cause it, but it is not as bad as it was. But I wanted to get on and show you a quick outfit of the day. I feel like I'm a little bit lower today. I've got my uh, camera set on uh, up on some extra books because I am going to stand up and show you a few things. And if I raise my camera, I don't have to bend down as much. But I have a lot of space up here. But you can see my hair. It's still dirty. I've not washed it. But I love it today for some reason. I just think it looks cute like this. But uh, I'm going to get up and show you a few things that uh, my mom came out yesterday and me and her and Hope and the baby went to uh, a nearby town and my mom had to go. We went to an antique store. She had uh, found this lady online that has an antique uh, shop store and my mom was looking for a, a chest of drawers or Chester drawers. Uh, we was laughing at her yesterday because here in the country we just call it Chester drawers. And Hope's like, what in the heck is Chester drawers? <laughs> But anyway, a chest of drawers. But anyway, so my mom was on the hunt for one of those because she has thrifted so much the last few weeks that she has so much clothes and shoes and stuff that she's having to store them in bags and she has nowhere to put anything. So she was on the hunt for a dresser and she did not uh, want to pay out a lot of money because she wanted to get something older that she could do herself and kind of restore. And I think she's going to make it more, uh, what do you call it, vintage or antique look and she's going to get what is that shabby chic or something but she's going to do it herself but she found this dresser or chest of drawers for ten dollars yesterday at this antique place and uh, my mom and dad are into horses and she found this big horse too for like five dollars so she's excited about that but we went to our main reason to go to this town was to go to make a long story short i talk so much donna to make a long story short, the reason we went to this town was she had messaged this lady, and this lady had some dressers for sale for her to look at. So we went down there. She bought the dresser, and she bought this little horse. Or actually, it was a pretty big, big horse. Big, sturdy, like a hard plastic. My mom and dad have a real country western home, and they do have three horses. They have like a little, it's not really a farm, but it's kind of, my mom's house puts you in the mind of like a little cabin slash cottage. It's real country, a lot of wood. My daddy does real... Uh, my daddy is a very uh, good handyman. He can build houses. He built my brother's house. He built several houses, and he's done all the woodwork. My mom helps him, too. My mom and dad both are very, very crafty, very, very talented when it comes to woodwork and building things. So they've redone their whole house. It's just a small home, and it is so country and cozy. But they're into horses, and she found this horse statue that's really neat for $5.00. But we went there, and we got that, and then after we did that, we went to, where did we go next? Let me think. I think we ate. Did we eat first? No, no, no. We got the dresser first, and then my mom got in the vehicle with us and just parked her vehicle at the store. The lady said she could leave it there. So my mom got over with me and Hope, and we went to a New Mexican place that we hadn't tried out that my mom's Facebook friend and her husband just opened, and it was good. We went there, and we got a fried ice cream. We shared it. It was delicious. Uh, Mexican fried Mexican ice cream or whatever, whatever they call them. They're very good. And then we went to a goodbye, a uh, goodbye now, a Goodwill that was next door to the uh, thrift store. Uh, the I'll get it out in a minute. 
We went to a nearby Goodwill that was close to the Mexican restaurant, and I picked up a few things there, and I'll show you real quick. My mom, she picked up a couple things. I think my mom ended up buying a genuine Burberry purse at Goodwill for nine ninety nine. We got on a research, or she got on a research it yesterday to, sell, to see what the uh, details were, like how you could tell a fake from a real one. And everything panned out. It looks like it's a real one. She went through all the, the list. There was like 10 different things to look for. And she went through it. And I think her purse was only missing one thing out of 10. But from what we can tell, the purse is a real Burberry. And I got on and Googled it. And they're like six to nine to a thousand, a thousand, a thousand hundred dollars. I'm a case today. I can't speak. They're anywhere from like five hundred to a thousand dollars. The ones that I looked at online, so we couldn't find the exact one that she bought, but we had we found some that were real similar. But I want to get up and show you a quick outfit of the day and quit fumbling. Maybe I can get my words together and show you what I bought at Goodwill. And oh, before I do that though, I'll show you. We did go to Walgreens. The town that we went to is where they do have the Walgreens, and it's like a forty-five minute drive. And I did repurchase my. Uh, Jordana Best Extreme Lash is it what Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. My other one was down to the last little bit; it had dried up, and so I needed to repurchase another one. And I was going to buy a couple of them, but this this is such a well loved product that anytime you go in there, there's usually just one available, or sometimes they're even sold out completely. But they only had one, so I picked it up. And I don't know, what does it run? Four or five dollars. But it is like the best mascara. It's very, very worth the price. And then I picked up another pair of the uh, Double Up Ardell Lashes in the 203. I have missed these lashes. These are the uh, style of lashes that Deidre sent me. And I wore those until they just started looking so bad that I had to throw them away. But I did go and buy me another pair of those yesterday. And I'll probably wait and wear them tomorrow night for church. And I just have my regular everyday lashes. My salon, what are they? Salon Perfect Lashes or something that comes from all mark and i am wearing my um morphe palettes again i've worn them for like a week straight now and of course my really me uh lipstick from mac uh, it's my favorite right now and i did plump my lips up that's why they look so full and juicy today i plumped them up with a bottle cap everybody thinks that's funny but it does work it'll stay plump for an hour or so and then if i want to touch it up i can but i do have a small quote i want to give you but i'm going to stand up and show you an outfit of the day and show you what i bought at goodwill and then i'll come back Today, I just have on a white distress t-shirt. I'm going to try to put my chair up without being so loud. I'm all the time knocking that chair around. But it's just, if you can tell, it's just a white t-shirt with little hose in it. This t-shirt came from Forever 21. Most of my graphic tees and distress tees, you'll find out, came from either Plato's Closet or Forever 21. And I've got it partially tucked in my red jeans. And these jeans are just a pair of jeans that I got thrifting, but they are from Wet Seal. And you've seen those a couple times. And I've just got my shirt partially tucked in. And I just put on my tan western booties. You've seen these little booties. They're the tan ones with the little uh, gold studs on them that I got from Plato's Closet. And my hair is just dirty and messy, but I'm really liking it today. I've been clipping it. I don't know if you can tell. I've been clipping it with one of those big clips and just pulling part of it back. And I just, I've, I've worn it like that a couple of days in a row now, and I really like it. And I just have my little uh, CZs that came from uh, Old Navy, the real sparkly ones. And I have, I did paint my nails again today. I just got them that gray. Let me see what, it's uh, the Insta-Dry, you know what I use. Sally Hansen Insta-Dry in Grease Lightning. And I usually will wear a gray polish, a nude polish, or a, a black polish. And sometimes I'll do like burgundies or reds. But I don't know. You know that by now. I don't hardly do a lot with my nails. But I did paint them today. I don't have any jewelry on other than my earrings. And I did switch over into my... I've been packing this the last few days. I've switched over into my Amy Kestenberg camo bag. I love this little bag. I hadn't packed it in a, it in a while. I'm going to put my stuff back in my drawer. I love Walgreens. I like any drugstore. But Walgreens is one of my favorites. Seems like they got a lot to choose from. But, uh, okay, the first little, I'm going to show you my shoes first. Hope found these shoes, and you know me how I like shoes that look like um, old men's shoes or slippers or even these kind of remind you of an old, I hate to say it this way, but it looks like witch shoes. You know, the last pair of booties I got look like the granny boots slash combat boots, which Hope said they look like witch boots too. But I love that look. I love it. I, I think it goes cute with the, the 
the way that I dress, the real edgy vibe that I throw off. I like those kind of shoes. I think it adds to them or boots. But now, um, Hope found these and she actually kind of liked them and tried them on, but they were a little bit too big on her. And so I, I picked them up, but here they are. They're just a black slip on shoe that laces up. I tried to read this name of this, but I cannot tell you what they are, but they are made in Brazil. They're very soft, but they're just leather uppers. They're not real real leather or anything. But I gave, uh, they look like they're, they're brand new. They've never been more, and I gave $6.99 for them. But they're very soft, black, pointy, slip-on shoe that laces up, and I like how this folds over. But they do kind of look like old men slash witch shoes, but I love that look, and I will wear these a lot. So those were uh, the, actually one of the first things that we picked up. You can see the sticker on the bottom. It was $6.99. I'll put these over here. I'm getting a, I'm getting a huge uh, shoe collection. I've had to. I've got shoes under my half rounder. I've got this whole thing full. Now I'm filling up the whole bottom part of my, the whole floor of my closet is full of shoes. I am absolutely out of control. But most of my stuff now, I have to say, uh, came from Goodwill or Play Doh's or thrifting. You know, a lot of, especially my shoes. I don't buy a whole lot of new shoes and stuff. But my nose is running. Sorry about that. Okay, I bought three really cute summer blouses. They're more fancier. They're not real fancy, but it's a little bit different than what I've been buying. And this first one is, uh, it's an Express Extra Small. I love it. Now, this little top looks way cuter on than it does off. And I did not try these tops on at Goodwill yesterday. Uh, I had my hair fixed like this, and I had a t-shirt on and a sweater over top of that. And a lot of times, I just am not in the mood to try things on and try to pull stuff over my hair, especially if I'm wearing it down. And I had this big old chunky clip back there, and it would have caught on my shirts. So I just bought these uh, on a whim, and I figured that they would work. But I love this little blouse, and it does look better on. It is a black and white check with a ruffle, if you can tell. It still has the original express price on it, which is crazy. Look at this. $49.50. I don't really know. And there's nothing to it. I don't even know who would pay that for it. But a lot of times, Express is a very spendy, pricey store. But I do love Express. But you can go in there sometimes and find clearance. But a lot of times, you just have to pay full price. So I don't know. I don't see any clearance stickers on this. So whoever bought this may have bought paid full price, which is $49.50 for this little top. And it's very thin, very lightweight. It zips up the side which I'm not going to, let me see. Yeah, it's already unzipped where I tried it on. I did try it on when I got home last night. But it zips up the side, if you can see, which makes it fit tight, you know, around your uh, stomach and your rib cage. And I like that. Very cute neckline. It shows my shoulders, which I like. Comes up high around my neck. Very flattering top. And I may, when I wear this, I'll try to show you an outfit of the day. I know I say that all the time. And where I don't film every day, you cannot possibly see all my outfits. And most of the time I do, well, unless I am really sick or feeling bad, most of the time I get up, I fix my hair, put my makeup on, and dress up, you know, in my regular clothes. Usually every day you'll see me in jeans or something. And my girls are get tickled at me. But since I've lost my weight, that keeps me motivated. It keeps me uh, inspired to stay in shape and to keep my weight off. I don't know if that makes sense. But if you've struggled with weight, you know how a lot of times it, it's easy to start wearing stretchy clothes or leggings or joggers and, and just kind of, you know, go comfy most of the time. And a lot of times you can put on weight and not even know it until you slip a pair of your jeans on. So most of my jeans are tight fitting and I usually try to put them on every day just to keep up with my weight. And I did weigh this morning. I told you I wasn't, but now I'll say that. But usually if I get up in the mornings or around mid, I think I weigh... You hear my great Dane barking, barking. I think I weighed around 11 o'clock this morning and I still weighed 119. So that's what I weighed the last time I recorded which has been several days ago, but I'm holding my own, and I'm glad because I've ate a lot. I mean, I have good days, but most of the times, you know, uh, here, the last few weeks, I've had more bad days than good days, so I'm glad to be maintaining, but anyway, I love this little top. I love the way it looks on, and I give, I don't know, Goodwill price, what is that, three or four dollars for this, but I love that. Okay, the next one was a J. Crew blouse. I love this, and you know how I am with white. 
uh, but it's a size zero, and I love it. It's very tight fitting. Uh, comes right at the top of my jeans. I like that look sometimes. And very, very, very cute, which I have to wear a new cami, which I wear camis most of the time anyway. I have a cami on today, but a new cami underneath it. But I tried all these on when I got home last night, and I loved, I bought three tops, and I loved all of them, and I was very well satisfied with them. But I thought that was just adorable. Very cute. J, J. Crew brand. And this next one was on clearance for 99 cents. And I love, it's from Goodwill. And it's Forever 21. And I loved it. It's a navy blue and white check with the white buttons. They're all there. I just don't have them buttoned up. Very, very cute. Just makes me think of uh, Marianne from Gilligan's Island or something. The big checks. The gingham, I guess you call it. But I think that's so cute. I have this in mind to wear with my dark blue jean shorts with just some sandals or flip-flops. But I love that. But those black shoes, my witchy shoes, and my three summer tops was all that I bought uh, at Goodwill yesterday. And we didn't go to the mall or we didn't go to any other department stores or anything like that. We just uh, went to eat Mexican and I got a cheese burrito. It was delicious. And my mom, what did she get? Something with chicken and rice. And then Hope got, uh, Hope usually gets the uh, beans and rice and cheese dip and sauteed onions and mushrooms. She usually does. Sometimes she'll get chicken. But I usually will get a cheese burrito. Anytime I go to Mexican, that's usually what I'll order. And then me and my mom and Hope split a fried ice cream, which was delicious. We ate Mexican, and then we went over to Goodwill and done a few things. Um, and then while my mom was still shopping at Goodwill... Me and Hope run up the road to Walgreens, and I picked those um, two items up. And then Hope picked up her Cody Airspun, her Cody Airspun powder in the big yellow flowered uh, box powder. She loves that, and she that's her favorite. And if you watch her channel, that's her all-time favorite powder. Well, she was having trouble finding it. She had, she had looked at several places and couldn't find it. So Walgreens did have it yesterday, so we picked that up for her. I'm trying to think, did we do anything else? We just went to Walmart last night and bought some necessities. So that's about what our day consisted of yesterday, but we always have fun. We got we got home pretty uh, pretty early yesterday evening, and then me and Hope just sat around at the house. And what did we do? Mm, that, that's all. We just sat around at Hope's last night until I was ready to come home. And then I, I done my nightly routine. I got on my treadmill and walked an hour and... All my stuff. I done my tan towel last night. I love those tan towels. I know I tell you that all the time, but I recommend those. If you like a tan and you don't do the sun or tanning beds, which I would never recommend to anybody, you like a tan, but you don't want the mess and the fuss, get those tan towels because they're very easy. They're very convenient. You just wipe it over your body. You do want to make sure you wash the palm of your hands, you know. But you wipe it on, it's just like a wipe, just a saturated wipe. You just wipe it over your body, and the next morning you have just got a really... Now, you don't see the color when it goes on, but the way you apply it, where you just wipe it on like you're washing your body, you get an even coverage. And you don't see the coverage till uh, the color till the next morning. But I woke up this morning with some... That's about all the color that I really worry about because, like I said, I've over self-tanned so much through the years that I'm... Oh, look at that bruise. I get bruised up so easy and don't know where they come from. But uh, over the years, I have self-tanned so much and overdone it that I'm I'm happy learning how to just keep a just a base color. But uh, anyway, I wanted to give you this quote and expound on it just a few minutes. And then, of course, I'm heading to Hope's. Today, she's wanting to just do some stuff around the house. And she wants to do a YouTube video. And where Rich works, her husband works during the day. And Gage is very demanding. And you know, you've met him. He's very spoiled. But I'm going to go watch him while she does some stuff around the house. And I think she's wanting to record a video. So I'm going to go out there and watch him. And then after a while... I'm going to go get me a salad at Giovanni's and just bring it back to Hope's and eat. And I think me and her may play some Yahtzee. We've not played Yahtzee in a while. But anyway, the quote says, What you tell yourself every day will either lift you up or tear you down. And I think that is one of the truest statements there is. I think by the words that we speak, we can even dis e either discourage ourselves or we can encourage ourselves. I think we ourselves are our biggest supporter, we are our, bi our biggest encourager, or we are our, bi our, our biggest critic. And by the words we speak can change our mood. I know I can get up during the day and I can give myself a pep talk 
and I can boost my confidence just by the words I speak. The Bible will tell you the power of life and death is in your tongue. You can speak blessings or you can speak cursings. And I know a lot of people think that may be nonsense. But what we speak, what comes out of our mouth, will impact our life. And it will impact the life of those around you, even your children. You need to get up every day, speak encouraging, positive blessings over your children because your life i read a book one time by darlene bishop i recommend that book if you if you like to read her name is darlene bishop and the book is called your life will follow your words whatever you speak will come to pass whatever you speak upon your life will come to pass if you speak blessings and you believe it in your heart because what's in your heart will usually come out your mouth. That's just how it is. If it's in your heart, it will usually manifest itself through the words that you speak. But let me say that again. What you tell yourself every day will either lift you up or it will tear you down. And I've been on both ends of the spectrum. I have, I have tore myself down with the words I've spoken. I have spoke negative over myself. I have spoke depression on myself, sickness, uh, just anything. And then I've also spoke confidence and spoke blessings on my life. And you can tell a big difference when you do that. So I encourage you today to speak positive. Tell yourself you know you can do it. If you want to lose weight. If you want to start a new job. If you want to start a new adventure in your life. If you want to make a positive change of any kind. Speak to yourself. Speak to your body. Speak to your mind. And tell yourself that you can do it. And then I've been on the other end where I said I'm a failure. I'm overweight. I'm sick. I feel depressed. You know, I would speak those words into existence. And before you know it, you just feel like you want to go to bed and go to sleep and not wake back up because you have got yourself in such a hole by the words that you speak, you know, and you've depressed yourself and discouraged yourself to a point to where you feel like you cannot be productive or you cannot do anything good, you know, or anything uh, edifying. But I challenge you today to speak positive over you over your family, over your children, over your life, over your circumstances, over your finances. And if you will speak positive, you will see a big change. And if you want to accomplish something today, you tell yourself that you can do it because you can. You know, I know there is certain situations where people are limited. You know, they may be sick or they may be handicapped or there's just certain things. But you know what? You know what inspires me the most is if you see someone that is handicapped or disabled and they have still made something of their self and they have lived the best life that they can live. I've seen people that are athletes that are missing arms and legs or musicians that have to play with their feet, you know, or don't have any arms or hands or play the guitar or the piano with their toes. You know, that is dedication. That is somebody that is positive. That is somebody that has not let a bad situation hold them back. That is somebody that is driven with passion. You know, and I would like to think that if I was in that situation, that I would be driven to that point to where I would let nothing hold me back. You know, and I admire people that have that kind of passion and that kind of spark in their life, you know. But my advice today is speak positive over yourself and over your family, over your life, over your situations, and watch things turn around for you. So I'm going to go out today and have a great day and only speak positive. You know, you know, nobody wants to be around somebody that's negative, that is speaking negative all the time, or sees the, you know, that's a, what is it, a pessimist? A pessimist, is that how you say it, instead of an optimist? I get on here and I say the craziest stuff, and I look back at my videos and I think, that ain't even a word. The other day when I was explaining those purses, I said monologue instead of monogram. I don't know. Monologue might mean the same thing. I know monologue is a word, but I'm not even sure what it is. But I meant to say I don't like purses that have monograms and letters on them. But I look back at myself and I just crack myself up. But anyway, it's better to laugh at yourself, ain't it, when you're silly. But you guys go out there, speak positive, and have a great day. And I probably will get on tomorrow before I go to church and show you an outfit of the day. But that's what I did yesterday, and I'm going to go out and have a low-key day today with my family. But I love you guys. Keep the comments coming, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.